Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Amnesia on the channel. Today, we've got this smooth pedestal. Sorry, a pedestal has a smooth hemispherical depression at the top. Oh, has depression? That's not good. Okay. No, we're not joking about that, but if you do, there's resources to help you. Um, so we're here at the place. Uh, I don't think we're going. Ouch! <laughs> I had to touch it. I had to touch it. Find a way. But, oh, oh, okay. I, I, I'd like to help best I can. So, uh, yep, yeah, we're doing our thing. Uh, we have a brand new pair of headphones that we're using. Uh, the old ones that I've had for, goodness, close to eight years now. Finally, uh, kicked the bucket. Has some crack and some breakage in it. So now we've got a brand new pair. I'll create that in a second. Um, they've got this neat little noise cancelling thing that kind of sucks. Like, if you ever use noise cancelling on headphones, I'm pretty sure some of you are like, Man, I hate it so much, because it, it emits this weird, like, low frequency that just absolutely janks up your steez, man. But, uh, yeah, I'll go... <laughs> uh, we'll check out this letter see what we got going on here. The Shattered Orb. All is lost. I must once again start over. Ever since I recovered the orb first found by Agrippa, I have depended on it for my research. This incident with Wilhelm made me most impetuous. 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 Whatever. <laughs> Varying a paucity of prisoners. Is, is, is that what a group is called? Like a gaggle of geese? A paucity of prisoners? Alright, cool. I proceeded with the final ritual without proper foresight. The orb cracked and fell into six parts. That's what we're trying to find. I've tried everything, but have yet to mend the thing. Unless I can think of a way to piece it together, I will have to find another. Uh, okay, yeah. That's usually how things go. <laughs> well, I'm a little salty today. <laughs> there is still life in the pieces, and even if the orb isn't restored, I might be able to salvage some of its power for some other purpose. Centuries have passed. In vain. The wrong spelling of past, dude. <laughs> and I begin to... Who proofread this game? It's been out for like 10 years. Somebody freaking patched this thing. <laughs> Anyways, wrong spelling of past in vain, and I begin to wonder if I will ever be able to see my love again. How much longer can I sustain my life? I don't know. That's between you and your doctor. Now, what is this boy here? Ooh. We got a little thing with some astrological signs or something? or It looks like a mixture of astrological signs and something. It's like fake Chinese or fake Korean. But, uh, alright. Cool. Cool. I like all these various different thingamabobs. Oh my god, are there 20 of them? Uh, no, there's more than 20. So I can't call them thingamabobs. Um, well, I guess another way to go is straight over this way. Which is left of where I came in. Yeah, left, left. Oh yeah, right. The other story. So, Reaching out to the uh, little sparky wall thingy uh, reminds me of a story from my childhood, my young childhood. Little toddler Obi in the house sees uh, something on the bathroom counter. It's a curling iron. So I see the curling iron. I go to reach out to it with my right hand, and I burn myself. I go. And then, being the curious little bugger that I was, reach up to the counter with my left hand to grab the curling iron. Ha! And, uh, yeah. I was being watched the whole time by my old man, so. 1839. Banishment ritual is taking longer than expected, and we have to do what is needed. I spend my time helping out the prisoners. Being around these degenerates makes me ill. None of them even tries to face their punishment with any kind of dignity. Nothing to lose. They taunt me with their lies of innocence and their cowardly pleas of mercy. Yeah. What can make a man fall so far from the grace of a civilized existence? A prison sentence, Dad. They are all wicked men, and I remind myself of it constantly. Still, I am thankful for God sending these monsters our way, as they will serve as the instruments of my salvation. Hmm. I try to study the different tools in the torture chamber and learn how to use them effectively. Like the masters before Last me. Time was messy 
and the effect suffered from my inexperience. Yeah, man. When gotta, the next warding is to be performed, I shall be ready. Gotta practice your nunchuck skills, bro. All right. So, ooh, another orb? No. What? A bucket of tar. A bucket of tar. Ooh, and uh, and uh, and uh. Oh, oh my God. Give me the, give me the freaking thing. Give me the thing. There we go. Jesus. All right. Bucket of tar in a tinder box. So that thing won't budge that way. But I do remember there was a door over in the electro room. So I will go back that way. Hooray. Is this the time missing Dan? Shut up now. So yourself. You started this. Ooh. I, you I told you it was a gaslight POS. For help, and this is how you repay me. How dare you? Ah, oh, screw off. I did see another door, right? I swear I saw another door I could have gone into. Where the heck was it? Okay, um, maybe it was back here. To the left again. I'm just, I'm going in freaking circles here trying to figure this nonsense out. Yeah, it was back here. Dang it. Ah, whatever. It's fine. It's all about exploration, learning. Okay. Ooh, all right. Little, uh, desk slash altar. Lamp oil. Hooray. Can I get up on it? No. Eh, eh. Okay. Hmm. Symbols on the thing. I must look at, and there's no way I'm doing that, not going over. Uh, hmm. Let's experiment. Let's just see what happens if I take the tar, bucket of tar. No object to use item on. Okay. Hmm. What about this? Can I put tar on here? For some reason? No? Hmm. I think... Unless there's something in here that I'm missing. Oh, I want that. I want to... It's close now. Okay. Cool. Oh, hey, tinderbox that I missed. Nice. Maybe I'm going back. Maybe I'm going back into one of these other places, back to the... Hey, guess what? It's the left again. All right. I suppose I'll go back here and explore some of the other rooms. Now that I've got a bucket of tar. Ooh, hi. What's this? Did I miss this from before? I must have. Through here is the nave. Ooh. The fear had begun to drown him again. He reached once more for the empty bottle of laudanum. In frustration, he smashed it against the bedpost. Ooh. Who is that referring to? Is that, you know, me? Daniel is the thing? Ooh. These cells are meant to hold prisoners who are under treatment. The people you send for will end up here. Remember that the confinement itself works as a preamble to the torture, and you should pace yourself. Don't take anyone before they are ready. Understood. Sounds from the torture chambers are shuttled in through those pipes in the ceiling. Manage your victims well, and let one prisoner's pain instill terror in his cellmate. Alright, so that explains the hearing of the things. Neat! All right, first room. Okay, cool. Whoa! No! 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 Holy crap! Wow! Wow! Okay, that was that was a sequence of events that happened. It just kept on going. It just kept on going. Okay, so I've got a tinder box and, uh, yeah, the pipe to, uh, send the noise in. Yeah, it's great. Woo! All right. At the ten-minute mark of the episode, we are experiencing some, uh, some feelings here. What about here? Hello? 
Anybody, anything? Whole lot of nothing in here. Whew. Okay. Oh my god, I got the wicked tingles up my back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. No, okay, just big old blood pool. All right. And then one more door. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So just may wait. Yeah, just maybe look around all these rooms for no ding dang reason. All right. Stairs to climb, and this other way. I'm gonna go in here first, I guess. Let me put my oil in my thing real quick. Drink up, and boom. All right, we're here. Got some light here. Let's turn the lamp off. I do get it. Alexander is quite impressive in many ways, but she what? has grown impatient. Oh, really? That loot back to here? By me? I'm the next best thing. Cool. Alexander really wants it. None other than Johann Meyer. You have heard of Johann Meyer? My God, boy. All right, you can stop now. You don't know him. You can stop. Can I do this thing again? Can I shut you up? Come on. No, it's stuck. Okay. All right. Oh, dang it. All right. Um. Okay, let's go with this way. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care, Agrippa. Whatever the hell your name is. Whoever you is, I don't care right now. I got my own issues to deal with. Huh? All right, please stop making noises. Oh, come on, Daniel. It's just fog. There's just a little bit of suddenly appearing smoky fogginess. Smogginess. That's where the word smog comes from. Smoke and fog. Do do do. Okay. Tinderbox. Awesome. Yoink. I said yoink. And. Okay, I thought I heard something there. This game makes you paranoid. Hey, I know this. I've been here already. I know this taste. The taste of Damascus Rose obfuscating the truth in the dim hang. They may sweep the traces from my memory, but my body remembers. It's cut speak volumes, even though my mind remains silent. Ooh. They will be back. All right. Okay. We are. I don't know when we're gonna really. Pe Ooh, hi. Leg of lamb or a pick of just a chunk of meat, just a big old hunk of meat. So I've got meat. I've got tar. Ooh, maybe it's gonna be used as bait. I can stick it somewhere. Can I stick it? Go and stick it. So I've been around here to the navel. I guess uh, we can go back through to the chancel and through the double doors, possibly. Carefully cutting the man open made him think. This is how father must feel about his craft. Being an artisan, relying on one's skill to perform something so delicate grants a certain form of pride. Okay. Well, real quick, let me go in my inventory. Let's try. No. Okay. So it's gonna let me just do that like that. Okay. Never mind. Never mind. Moving right along here. Through the door. Through the door. And then these double doors. Because... What? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, okay. So I've got this hunk of meat and I've got this little... Altar or desk or something. Let's experiment by putting the meat on one of these boys. Let's see. What I can find out. Just gotta trudge along through. Alright. Meat, what can you do for me? Anything? Nope. No object to use item on again? Is it gonna be the same thing for this little altar desk thingy, me dude? Yeah, Alright, time to use our big wrinkle puzzle brains to figure this out. I can't, 
I can't be in the wrong place. They're not going to make me do all that much backtracking. What was over here again? I forget so easily sometimes. What is behind door number one? Okay, things and stuff. Oh yeah, the little workbench. Moving parts, and then a door I can't go through. Can I do anything to the door, maybe? Because I'm trying to, like, unloosen the little dealy boy here. Hmm. Must be another way around through here, possibly. Uh, chip. Nope, okay. Hmm. Alright. Well, I think we get to experience our very first fast forward of the episode. We will see you shortly. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look at the Damascus rose oil. All right, uh, so I just saw that new one. We're here, back near Agrippa. Um, there's some places to look around here, I suppose. Is there something else? Yeah, there's, yeah. Did I notice this before? All right. Got some gears. Gears. Eh. Eh. Yay, there we go. I got the gears working. Now, what does that do? Okay, enough. Sha, 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 sha. Blah, 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 blah. Good for you in the orbs. Now, where does that help me? Back here, maybe? Because this is where I came from originally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe there's something going on down there. Let's back track. Take me back, back to the shack. How are things coming? Not many They're sometimes consumed. I can't be too bad at this guy. He's he's been a torture victim for the longest damn time. He's been stuck here, just you know, doing his thing. All right, the Chen cell. Back to the Chen cell. Then I've got some moving parts. Where am I going? Do 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 do. Turn out my lantern and back up to the shebang. Whoa. Little door still won't budge. Yep. Okay, well now that we're here, I'm gonna try it a couple things and see what works and what doesn't. Uh, once again, be right back. Well, well, well. We <laughs> Sorry. Um. So yeah, we have some things to try out here maybe as we just further and further backtrack what are these rooms I want to say that yeah my initial plan was to try these rooms in order see what I can do and now that we're here we're trying these rooms I know I saw a thing over there hold on I'll get that in a minute a full refill and letter time 9th of August 1839 I can't stop sweating and shaking the warding ritual was not something of a sane mind. Oh, no. I did not even realize the dungeon was still in use. You didn't hear the stuff? Alexander had his servants bring one of the prisoners, a murderer, he told me. Alexander made all the arrangements, but he said I had to perform the ritual in order to have the right effect. Loser. The shadow could be led astray by the blood of another. Killing the man would provide us precious time. Hmm. What else could I do? Alexander said it had to be done. He is saving my life. I don't have the luxury of argument. I mean, you do. You definitely do. Um, but whatever. Lever number one. Something's happening. Cool. Lever number two. Solve the stuff. Oh yeah, there's that meat sting. The sting of accomplishment and triumph. Alright, um... Well, I suppose 
my over here. We'll just check this other door. Never mind then. Oh, that's right. This was the one I saved for last. And we have a whole lot of nothing except for a tinderbox. Random bits of wood, boulder, boulder, boulders. Okay. Tight. Now we've got stuff moving again. Does that do anything with Agrippa? Like, maybe loosen up his chains or something for torture? Daniel, you have gone too far. Ooh, not that way. I have to stop you. I can't let you proceed any further. Shut up. I'm sorry, my friend. Shut up, Alexander. If it is your real name, just shut up, you. I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. I'm gonna go some direction. I can't go there yet, but we'll keep going. Hey, Aggie, I did stuff. Was it good? Did it work? Our things coming. You got the doors open? Good going. I knew you could do it. All right, thank you. All right, so now these doors that wouldn't budge are now open. Left, right. Let's go left. Why not? Put this away for just a hot second while I look around. No, put it back. Put it back. I'll do that. There we go. Try to mitigate the word foggies. The transept. Okay. I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Such filth, he thought. Good men can safely cheer their departure as they are nothing but a burden to mankind. They shall not be missed. Ooh. Someone's a fan of Full Metal Alchemist. Alright. Um, where are we now? Place with some cages and a but. But yeah, okay. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, Alfred. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. All right, take the one who's most willing to die for the ritual or whatever the hell. Okay, nothing back here, just a door, door, door. Yep, let's, I guess, go counterclockwise. Through the first door lies a dark-ass hallway. Don't mind if I do. Um, I don't like it. 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 I really, really don't now. The sound of someone cutting through a bone or something? Hello? Ooh. Um, oh, okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, my God. Ho, 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 ho. Right through the grundle. Yikes. Uh, a rock? A piece of orb. Hey! One down, six to go! What happened? Oh, it's gonna make me interact? No, 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 no. I've got, I've got goosebumps already. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll interact with the torture device. The rapist hanged upside down. His tears soiled with blood flowing from his belly. Or flooding, even worse. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. And that explains that device. The man did a really, 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 like, really bad thing. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, your punishment. Whew. Jeez. I mean, I know it's like, you know, a punishment and all that, but holy crap, dude. <laughs> Uh, moving on. Let's go to our next door. Toward the far end of the room. Once again, mired in darkness. Stop it. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. That's why you gotta question everything, kids. A man on fire. It wasn't my fault. 
Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Yeah. Who? I mean, he might have done some bad stuff. The, di the guy might have done the crime, but that doesn't change the fact that Alexander is still an absolute marvel of human indecency. Piece of orb number two. Uh, another tinderbox. I could use more of those. No, no, please. Do anything. Whatever you want. Anything. Okay. All right. Use your imagination, folks. Use your imagination as to what went on here. All right. Pyramid there. We had a couple of Cheney boys there and some other dudes hanging out. And yeah, this was a... <laughs> the arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Woo, doggy. I can't imagine being sent through one of those damn things. Whew. I don't like it. I don't like the visuals. And then before we go up the uh, nice spiral staircase, we're in door number three. Yep. Same old, same old. Long, dark hallway. Long, dark red hallway. Cool. I'm going to save a light. Oh, that's the end one. I'll use it. No, I won't use it. I won't use it. And then... Oh. Oh. Okay. What's inside the armoire? Piece of orb. Da 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 da. Alright. So we are a third of the way there. Wait around the feet. Things wrapped around the hands behind the back and. Ooh. Can I tune the crank? Hold on. Let me turn the crank, dang it. Ooh. Oh, that, that's spine tingling. As we check the description. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. God! Hot damn! Man, some people know how to torture. Okay, so can I just like do this forever, or is there like a or, like a goal? Nope. Okay. No, I'm I'm okay with that. I I don't need to hear the woman screaming. It's okay. We're fine. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I, did you see that thing? It just glitched off the thing completely. It just completely flew away and like. Oh no, that's not supposed to be in the game, it's a bug. Let's go back, real slow and easy, probably won't even notice. Alright, and there we have it. Three horrible torture devices. Three pieces of orb, and a whole lot of rumbly bumblies. Um, did that, did that, did that guy, was, was he there before? Was that guy there before? Is, is it just me, or did that guy just suddenly pop up in the cage? I'm, uh... I'm pretty sure he wasn't there before. Cool. Cool. Alright, now we got, you know, dudes in cages. It's okay, maybe if I humanize him. Maybe if I humanize him, it'll be a little better. I'll call him Johnny. Hello. I'll come back to you in a minute, Mr. Johnny. Oh ho 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 ho! Oh, oh as if that's night nightmare fuel. Oh, ho. Ooh. oh, that's creepy. That is creepiness. And I do not like it. Tinderbox. Awesome. Stuff and things. And a piece of string? I've got string. And lantern oil. And let's see. Anything in the drawers? Ooh, an orby thingamadude. Is it you, my love? I miss the most. Or is it perhaps myself? 
I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them. A demonic sultan perched on a dark mountaintop. There's little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. So, what is the main deal with these? It's like other people losing their memories and having stuff put inside of those little boxes. Ooh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Note on torture. Notes. Multiple. There are quite a few things to be said about torture. I figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and terror of the anticipation. Anticipation. For those of you who know, you're welcome. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is dazed, still dazed, preceded, or pers wow, hold on. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you're about to apply, comma, no space, and then to continue with the actual act. The point of presentation... Presentation. Sorry, anyway, <laughs> I had to. Is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient, as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage, as it will prove more efficient in the process can be sustained. Also, apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you're whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, then strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it's likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. There's a drink to make him forget. So you're telling me that I was possibly given this freaking amnesia drink and not just like wicked head trauma to make me forget these things? Great. Who or what was that? Okay. So now that we've gone through here, gotten some pieces of orb, and I've got a piece of string. Let's go see, um, oh, uh, Johnny? Uh, Johnny? Where'd you go, buddy? Hello, Mr. Johnny. Oh, boy. So it looks like we're on the lookout for Johnny Boy. I guess that's a good place to stop the episode. Oh, the fear had, oh, no, we already got that one, okay. So I suppose as we're making our way over to the next section, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching, coming along on this journey here. What is this? Hold on. Alright, one more little bit. Yeah. Crank it, crank it, crank it. Gotta crank the thing a bunch, yeah. And now what's up? Um, excuse me? Oh, I lowered it. Now I gotta raise it. We'll find out what's on the other end of this rope next time. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for coming along here. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button, notification bell, leave a comment down below, and share this with your friends and loved ones. Until next time, take it easy.